All right, now continuing on with our um, lesson about addition and multiplication properties, we saw in the last lesson that we can treat an equation as if it were a balance. And as long as you um, add the same thing to both sides or you were to subtract the same thing from both sides, then you maintain the balance in that equation. Well, that is called the addition property of equality. So we're going to use that now to start solving some equations. Our first example here says solve a plus 5 equals 23. Well, before we start doing anything else, I want us to keep in mind what our goal is. When we are finished, uh, when to know that we're done, we want to know what a is. We want to know what the number would be that we would place in the A position to make that sentence true. So what we're really looking for is A equals something. Now let's look at the equation the way it's written right now. We have A plus 5 equals 23. We don't want plus 5. We want A to be all by itself. So let's think in terms of those opposite operations. What would be the opposite of adding 5? Well, that would be to subtract 5. And we can do that as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. I would need to subtract 5 from the 23 also. Now, by doing that, we've kind of created um, a new sort of balance in this equation. Positive 5 and negative 5, those cancel each other out. So if we were to look at this equation again, the left side, we would only have an A because the plus 5 and minus 5, uh, those disappeared. They turned into a 0, so uh, we just had an A. And on the right-hand side, 23 minus 5 is 18. Now, look at what we have. We have A equals 18. That's exactly what our goal was. We were supposed to find A equals some number. Once we have done that, we're done and our answer is there. Now we could always go back and check our answer by plugging it in in place of A. If I were to put an 18 in here, is 18 plus 5 equal to 23? Yes it is. So that is a true statement. The next problem says 7 equals Y minus 2. Well, keep in mind your goal again. Your goal is Y equals some number. Now, in this case though, the Y is not on the left side of the equal sign, it's on the right side. So would it be the exact same thing if we had some number is equal to Y? Absolutely, it's the same thing. Because that's one thing about equations. When you say that two things are equal to each other, that means that they are the same. Um, so this is very a very, very important concept. We want to make sure that it doesn't matter whether you know, the variable is on the left side or the right side. The idea is just simply to get it alone so we can know what the, what the, the answer is. Well, in this case, our y is not alone. It has a minus 2 attached to it. So we need to think of what is the opposite of minus 2, and that would be a plus 2. Well, we can do that as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. And when we do, minus 2 and plus 2 here will cancel each other out. So now if we look at our new equation, we have on the left side 7 plus 2, which is 9. And on the right hand side, our minus 2 plus 2, those canceled out, so we just have y. 9 is equal to y. Now remember we could double check that by saying is 7 equal to 9 minus 2 and yes it absolutely is.